Hello, my crafty friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chanti Rocco Creative Designs. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will always be notified when I upload a new video. I have a new guest design team project for ASC Craft Supplies. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I created this beautiful shabby chic vintage mailbox. This project is also very versatile. Simply change the paper and some of the decorative elements and you could use it for a birthday party, a baby shower, a wedding shower, and even on your wedding day. This is a very sizable project. It measures 11 inches from top to bottom. Its width is eight and a half inches and the depth is just about three and a half inches. I created this project using a digital file from SVG Cuts. The paper that I used is by Prima Marketing. It's called Dolce by Frank Garcia. You can purchase this at ASC Craft Supplies and I will be sure to include a full product list in the description box. Also, if you use the code Robin 10, you will receive a 10% discount upon checkout. I really love the way this project turned out. It's just so shabby chic and feminine. On the top, I have it layered in this beautiful muted pink gingham pattern. And on the top of the lid, I have beautiful roses and script writing. There are also pearls on the tops of each of these little hearts. This top lifts up and as you can see, there is ample space to store love letters or other fun gifts. I have lined the lid with this beautiful lace applique. I just love the scallop detail, the pearls, and of course, these beautiful roses. I've also included this trim along the side of the mailbox. We also have a piece of the applique here at the bottom. In the center, there's a sign that says mail. Now these letters are layered three times to give them additional dimension. And on the bottom, we have this beautiful interlocking heart and there are filigree patterns on either side. I have more of this lace applique and these beautiful flowers. Most of these flowers are all from the Prima Dolce collection. However, I have added in a few from my stash, including this soft white and iridescent rose, these beautiful buttercups that have little pearls. And as you can see here, we have these little pearl circles. And in the center, I've put this beautiful pink heart. Here's a view of the other side. Again, you can see more of this beautiful lace applique. And this is the back. Kept the back plain. I will more than likely include a little pocket here to insert a tag. I had so much fun making this. Now that I've given you an overview of this project, I'm going to grab my materials so that we can make it together. I'll be right back. I've gathered all of the materials to make our Valentine mailbox. We are using a digital file by SVG Cuts. When you purchase your file, you will receive a PDF file that includes all of the individual components to make this mailbox. I have imported all of the items into Cricut Design Space and I did cut it out on my Cricut Maker. These two pieces make the front of the mailbox. This is the back of the mailbox and I've already gone ahead and glued the decorative page and ink the edges. These pieces are the top lid of the mailbox. We have our decorative panel that says mail. These decorative interlocking hearts. And these are the bottom panels of the mailbox. So I'm going to set these elements aside and we can start working on the base of the mailbox. These two pieces make up the front of our mailbox. I've gone ahead and distressed the page. Let me show you what ink I used. I used this Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Victorian Velvet. To make the mailbox more sturdy, I glued in an additional liner of 80 pound cardstock. So now it's, it's very sturdy. I've also folded along the score lines. These folds will be a mountain fold. However, the side of the mailbox will be a valley fold. You wanna fold these edges up. This piece 
we'll make the right side of our mailbox and we're going to glue it on just like so making sure that it is aligned right up to the score line and even with the top and the bottom so let's go ahead and glue this piece down now okay and you want to make sure that this side panel is folded up now grab the back panel and we're going to glue this just like so okay. I'm going to put glue right on these tabs here make sure these are aligned perfectly and I'm going to burnish this so you want to give this a few moments to get a nice secure hold before you glue on the other panel. Now let's go to the other side. And this is going to be lined up just like so. Now that we have our mailbox space glued together let's work on the bottom so I have these two pieces this piece will go on the bottom and this piece will be the liner to cover up the tabs so what we want to do is put glue here and this is going to go right on the back of the mailbox so let's go ahead and do that now okay and I'm just going to slide this in here right up to the score line Actually, it might be easier to turn it over. Turn this over and burnish it. Before we glue this together, I am going to add in the additional decorative elements on the front of the box. So we have this panel here, and then we have these letters which spell out mail. You will receive three of each of these letters, and I've just glued them on top of one another to give them a little bit more dimension. And then we have these two interlocking hearts and they go just like so. So let's glue these two together now. I'm going to put glue on the back of this. Okay, and this is going to be centered on the top of this larger heart. And then there are four little holes and they will be attached just like so. Put these in. And then I'm going to secure these in. Okay, and so this is going to be curved right over the front of the mailbox. It's so much easier to put these brads in when you have the top and the bottom off. Okay, so we have these in nice and securely. So let's add this here. And these circles should line up perfectly. And then I'll put these two over here. Now that we have our decorative elements glued on, we can go ahead and close up the bottom of the mailbox. So what you want to do is fold this flap up. You want to make sure that these tabs on the bottom are on the outside. Okay, so this is what it should look like. And now I'm going to put glue on each of these tabs and then I'm going to attach it to the base. So I'll turn this over. I'm just going to put glue on these tabs here and now we can fold these tabs down. What I'm going to do is flip it over on the other side so it's standing up. Press all along side the edges just to make sure that each of the tabs are secure to the base of the mailbox. And once all your tabs are glued in place, we're going to take this decorative panel and glue it on the bottom just like so to cover up the edges. And here is our finished bottom. Now we can begin working on the top of the mailbox. So I'm going to put this aside and grab these pieces. We are going to glue these tabs onto this top panel and this is going to be glued on just like so. So I'm going to start with this first tab here, glue it right up to the score line, 
And I'm just going to glue this first tab, making sure it's right to the edge. And then I'm going to go over to the other side and glue that on just to make sure that these panels are even. And once these two edges are glued on, everything else will fit nicely together. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over, put glue on the rest of these tabs. And you want to make sure not to put too much glue because you don't want it to ooze out of the bottom. And see how that just fits into place? Now let's turn this over and make sure we attach these tabs. Because of this top part, you really can't lay it flat. So just hold it in the palm of your hand and run your thumb along it. Okay, and that looks good. Now you want to take this panel, and this is going to be glued in just like so, so that you have a nice, clean, finished edge inside. Okay, so we have our piece together. Now what we need to do is glue this on top, and it's going to be aligned just like so. So you'll see a nice border where the hearts are. All we have to do is just put glue on this top panel here. Okay. And we are going to line this up. I'm going to take your bone folder and just make sure there's a nice strong adhesion to the back. And our mailbox is now complete. It opens up just like so. I'm going to finish decorating this offline and then I will be back to show you the final reveal. This is my completed project. I absolutely love the way this turned out. The main focal point of this mailbox is this beautiful scallop lace applique with the pearl detail. The dusty pink rose is a perfect complement to this paper collection. And then on the bottom, I created these fun floral clusters. Most of the flowers are from the Prima Dolce collection. However, I did sprinkle in a few from my stash. I also added in these fun pearl rings on the bottom and the top. And then in the center, I have this beautiful pink heart. All of the items from the Prima Dolce collection can be purchased at ASC Craft Supplies. I will be sure to include a full product list in the description box. This concludes my review of my Shabby Chic Vintage Mailbox. Hopefully I've inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now, and happy crafting.